Okay, I'm here at our local Aldi. We're gonna see what the shelves look like. Might be a lot of people in here. There's hardly any buggies. Security first. Always zip up your purse inside and definitely use that child restraint belt to secure your purse to the buggy. All done. Normally I go up and down every aisle, but I need to check on my butterball turkeys first. They're 87 cents a pound, limit two, with a $5 coupon off of a $30 purchase. So uh, if they don't have my turkey, I'm gonna come back another day. And there they are, they have plenty. They are limit two, and I will be getting two. I got two, one's right under 20 pounds, 19.59 pounds, and the other is, huh. Where's the weight? There it is, 18.11 pounds. Actually, right there is over $30, but I do have two coupons and we're going to do an aisle check. You know, this is one of my favorite places to look. It makes you feel like you're not exactly grocery shopping. So they've got lots of holiday decor, lots of candles, and I'm right behind the freezer section. Let me give you a look there. Freezer section at Audi looks totally full up, ah, except for right there are some looks like they're out of chicken fries popcorn chicken chicken nuggets and breast patty looks like they're also out of some stuffed chicken uh, out of tilapia fillets and haddock fillets wild caught salmon's pretty empty but otherwise yeah they are actually pretty full in the freezer section here asparagus spears are gone and frozen appetizers Burritos are gone. Chimichangas are gone. Corn dogs are almost gone. Sushi's gone. Chicken skillets, pierogies, pancakes, but lots of ice cream. They have some cooked turkey. They have some duck. I just heard a woman say that she heard that there are uh, nobody has turkey over 20 pounds. Meat section has a few empty spots, but overall very full. Looks like there was a mad run on Fago Cola. Still a lot of Coke products, lots of flavored water. Uh, juice pouches are gone. Fruit punch is gone, but otherwise that section is really full. Lots of creamer, I'm gonna get one of those. And shredded cheese is full, two pounds for $5.19. Seems like a little bit of a price increase, but I don't know. Uh, ham steaks are gone. All the ham section, that whole ham aisle, uh, whole ham shelf is empty. So we did grab an Irish cream um, creamer. Here's another empty shelf that should have ham on it. Up here, the sausages are pretty empty. I don't know what's up there, but these are, I guess, the processed packaged meats are not here. And one of our favorite sections at Aldi is the cheese section, and it is full. The only empty things are these egg thins with cauliflower, these uh, cheese wraps like to use uh, with your keto, and they're okay, but seriously, don't well, spend the money if you want, but just wrap yourself in a piece of Longhorn cheese. I think it'll be much less than $11.42 a pound. And we've tried these uh, egg thins and did not like them. So we're getting the Colby Jack cheese because we like that. Our house is usually never out of cheese. Okay, and in the laundry aisle, lots of laundry, almost out of Tide Pods. I guess somebody got hungry. Lots of candles. Sometimes I get candles here. I love those wick, timber wick candles. Those are awesome. This is one toilet paper section. That's another. And that's the tissues and wipes. But the, they've got a lot of toilet paper. I would not be saying they're out of toilet paper at all. It does seem there is a little bit of dog food gone or are those treats, grain-free treats and dog food cans maybe are gone but they have some bags but it doesn't look like they have a lot seems like they're almost out of salt water softener salt uh, half a pallet of paper towels but over here we have an empty pallet that should have what is that paper towels 
paper towels are gone here, but there's plenty here. So it seems like everything's just hit and miss. There's an empty spot for paper towels up there. And then of course, a lot of napkins. It seems like they usually have more of a selection, but they still have them at least. Uh, paper plates are limit of one. Paper bowls are limit of one. And that goes with what I've seen at Walmart and Sam's Club. Uh, they're not always having paper towels in, excuse me, paper plates in, and uh, we use those a lot. But we usually buy the 300 pack. I'm skipping the, like, you know, home goods aisle because there's a lot of people down there. Uh, they've got lots of cream of mushroom soup, tons of stuffing. We already got ours. Um, lots of chocolate. It does seem some empty spots of chocolate, so I say overall, really no need to worry, but let's check the cereal aisle. I have to make sure I don't get other people in the video, but uh, here's the toaster pastry protein bar, granola bar, and oatmeal section. Pretty full, I'd say. Down here we have some rice packet meals, and it seems like they have it, but if you look in the back, you can see if they had other things in the store, they would be condensing these like they should to uh, uh, add more things. They just don't have the other things to add. And over here in the mac and cheese aisle, excuse me, mac and cheese shelf, you can see it's the same thing, nothing back there. Uh, it's only one layer thick of uh, items. Just the facing is done, and it looks like they probably moved things forward in this aisle to hide the fact that the entire back is empty. I think this is a relatively new item, 349 for 23 ounces of bone broth, and then they have it flavored. There's Thai basil and rosemary lemon and then the turmeric one as well. The ingredient list on here is not too bad at all, but they actually made this with chicken stock. So like, what did they do? Buy chicken stock and then add seasonings and repackage it? Who knows? I think I'm gonna try the uh, turmeric one. Okay, cereal aisle, facings are all good and only a couple of them are empty in the back. So plenty of cereal here at Aldi. Let's just walk on down to the other section here. Here's their snacky section. Again, it looks like it's empty in the back, but this could be because this is their specially select section. The Aldi finds that once they're gone, they're gone. That could be it as well. They have some Sprite Pop, some cans of pop right there. And over here, the iced teas and coffee section, and it seems pretty full, right? I think so, yeah. I don't really particularly care for Aldi coffee. I have started to like save a lot's coffee, but you know, my go-to coffee is always Starbucks Place, Pike Place Roast that I get at Sam's Club. I don't go to um, Starbucks restaurant. I can't afford $5 for a coffee. This maple coffee smells really good, but every time I try the coffees, I don't like them. $2.95. Should I? Shouldn't I? Sure. Why not make another mistake, eh? Huh? Here is the flour. $1.15 for five pounds sugar. $1.98 for two pounds. I'm pretty sure those are just regular prices. I don't think that's an increase at all. Only half a pallet of sugar, but I mean, how much sugar do you need? Well, we're American. We need it all, right? And then they have the brown sugar. Two pounds is $1.49. I think that's a small price increase, but I really don't think you're gonna get a beat that price anywhere. And then the confectioner's sugar uh, is $1.49 for two pounds as well. And again, maybe it's the holiday, but they're pretty much selling out. They got a crap ton of sweetened condensed milk. Evaporated milk is there. The pie fillings seem to be there. Uh, somebody's having a lot of cherry pie and there's a lot of pumpkin mix here. I just feel like that's a huge, ridiculous price for uh, Libby's pumpkin. It's uh, only 15 ounces and it's $2.18. Their brand of pumpkin is 95 cents for the same size. I don't need any pumpkin. And one thing I will tell you though, is if you have dogs, it's good to keep pumpkin on hand 
but not the pumpkin pie mix. It already has the seasonings in it. You don't want that for the dog, but the pumpkin is actually uh, good for the dogs. And then we've got baking cocoa, $1.79 for eight ounces. They've got a lot of that. Over here, it looks like they've had some empty spots and that's uh, pasta. They're pretty much out of pasta, but we went to Olive Garden yesterday and they were out of ziti, so maybe they came and bought it all. Up here, it, it, there seem like there's empty spots, but it doesn't seem like anything bad. Right here, there is a lot of pepperoni uh, in the packages. They have the Idahoan um, mashed potatoes. I just, I don't do instant mashed potatoes. I should probably try some of those. I wonder how long they would last in buckets. <laughs> we have gotten these specially selected uh, macaroni and cheese, like pesto, uh, porcini mushrooms before uh, I've actually made those and freeze dried them and they're really good. And they have dropped the price considerably when they first came out. They were almost like three something, almost $4 for the box. And now they're only $1.99. You know, I think I'm going to consider this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get these roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Uh, no, I'm not. There's corn syrup in there. We just don't do corn syrup. Why do I get corn syrup in my potatoes? I don't think so. Let me check this brand. No corn syrup, but they've got hydrolyzed soy. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff in here that doesn't seem like it needs to be in potatoes. I mean, I don't make mashed potatoes and put coconut oil, vegetable oil, or sunflower oil in them. I really don't think I'm going to get those. And there's roasted turkey gravy, $1.78 for 12 ounces, and then they've got their brand for $1.39. I am going to get these mashed potatoes. They don't have a lot of bad stuff in them. Maybe it's because they're not flavored. And next we're going to do the vegetable section. So it looks fully stocked front and back, except for sauerkraut. Yams at the top are pretty empty. They've got maybe five cans of yams there. And then over here, they seem to be out of crushed tomatoes, but they have some stewed tomatoes and they have lots of diced tomatoes. But they're also out of tomato sauce, but you don't need to buy tomato sauce when you have access to tomato paste. As a matter of fact, we don't even store tomato sauce anymore. Just the paste, more condensed. There is definitely rice, uh, instant rice, long cooked rice, jasmine rice, basmati rice, plenty of couscous long grain rice. Rice is good, except for some brown rice. Plenty of pink salmon, plenty of tuna. Some of it's gone. They limit that to six. Lots of chicken breast. Sardines. There was a mad rush on sardines. They swam right out of here. Sloppy Joe sauce is pretty much gone, but then they have this chili with beans you could use instead. And then corned beef is gone. Cooked ham. Don't think I've ever tried the cooked hams here. The next section down was uh, chicken broth, um, and there was plenty of chicken broth, so we're going to go check something else. Produce seems to be filled in really well. Again, like some spaces where they don't have as much as normal, but they definitely have it. Now, this is a section that I guess could cause you some concern. This is the fruit section right here. So pineapple tidbits, mandarin oranges, cherry mixed fruit is gone, applesauce cups, just the cups that you give for school lunches are not there. Um, they've got plenty of fruit cocktail crushed pineapple there's only two cases pineapple chunks are gone well of course people find that for the holidays I suppose pineapple slices there are some there we have some peaches and heavy syrup and mandarin and oranges in light syrup but totally gone are the cherries and the squeezable fruits like these there's only two boxes of those and I'm gonna get some of this applesauce because this is pretty much the only place I buy applesauce. It's cheaper here and better, totally unsweetened, non-GMO. Um, it's even cheaper here than it is at Sam's Club. They have some pear in heavy syrup and uh, the whole berry cranberry sauce is pretty much gone, but the jellied cranberry sauce is there. Personally, I don't like to eat anything that retains the shape of the can when you dump it out. Kind of makes me think of dog food a little much. The snack section could be totally empty. I wouldn't even notice, but it's pretty full. Lots of peanut butter, lots of jelly, lots of jam. 
they got honey and don't forget to pick up your honey honey and let's see vinaigrette dressings you have lots of salad dressings what's gone hidden valley ranch is gone they've got their brand of uh dressings in stock except the ranch is almost gone as well i don't need that we bought it on clearance by the gallon if you recall we're still eating that uh sweet relish they've got yeah it's like they're not out of too much i'm just gonna start calling empty spots let's check out the rest of the fresh produce let me grab some avocados for my mother i'm getting her three but she's gonna forget to eat them uh the produce section is really full <clears throat> plenty of fruits apples lots of things so while they didn't have fruit in cans they've got real fruit prepared pizzas are half gone but Zucchini small tomatoes seem to be selling out, but that's probably because they're on sale. Well, maybe they're not. I don't know. Lots of potatoes, lots of spaghetti squash, butternut squash, and onions. I did say I was just going to start calling the empty spots, didn't I? Looks good here. Definitely have enough bread. Some specialty breads there on the bottom seem to be gone, but otherwise they're good. Potato chips are fine maybe there's not too much behind them um, the facings are all full some sauces are gone some are plentiful again pre-packaged snacks that really are all just processed anyway uh, a lot of that isn't there So eggs are $1.32 a pound, and I think about a year ago I was paying half that here, but it, it was a steal anyway, and um, they've got plenty of them back there. No milk shortage. Plenty of juice, lots of yogurt, but actually the yogurt seems to be empty in the back, so there's just a facing. And I was thinking butter was on sale. Uh, this is my stock up time. I think I mentioned that just the other day. $1.99, limit six. So there's also a big shortage of bacon here today. So they do have a limit of six on the butter, but I got six salted, six unsalted. I'm not sure if that's fair, but i am also got two coupons, so I'm gonna see if I can get checked out twice to use both my coupons. I hope you weren't wanting any uh, Casamamita diced tomatoes with green chilies. All right, I had to come down my little favorite aisle which they usually have on this side too, but it's full of um, all the holiday treats. Yuck. And down to the last little section. I am pretty much done in this store, and as I showed you, you're pretty much going to get everything. You're coming to Aldi for, but I wouldn't wait to the last minute because it's like every holiday season. Everything sells out the closer to the holiday that you get. Be blessed, everyone. Alrighty, so I'm leaving. I realized I didn't grab boxes like I normally do to pack my things in. I think I have some bags in the vehicle. However, I just wanted to show you everything I got here. And I was able to separate this into two orders. And these were my totals. 53.11 and 25.58. And they take the turkey off there at the end. You can see minus 10.19 and minus 5 for that coupon. And that other one had minus 9.42 for the coupon. I mean, excuse me, for the turkey sale. And then the minus 5 for the coupon. So right under $79 for that buggy full of things, including two turkeys. I don't think that was absolutely terrible. Uh, if it weren't for the turkeys, that uh, would have taken a lot off. Uh, or the turkeys actually added a lot to the bill. But at 87 cents a pound and I think if I recall in one of my freeze drying videos I actually uh, took the weight of the turkey pre-cooked then weighed it after it was cooked like uh, and separated it all weighed out the carcass separate from the uh, meat and you get less than half the weight pre-cooked after it's cooked so in other words, if a turkey is 20 pounds raw, see ya. Sorry, <laughs> if a turkey is 20 pounds raw after you cook it, you're actually getting uh, less than 10 pounds of meat. But that's the way it is. I guess you could go vegan, right? Nah.